this is Brian from Logic Pro Hacks. Well, it's another day in the wonderful land of whatever. Busy day. I had to do a uh, live show today for a church. The sound guy, and uh, it was pretty hectic this morning. There was a special instrumentalist. This person actually requested no reverb. Okay, I'm all right with that. And then asked me that to EQ it boxy. I'm like, what the heck is boxy? I've never heard that term before. I'm, I'm thinking of like back in the old days, you know, where you had the hobos that ride the train. They would um, play like these little cigar box guitars. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, his style is very, um, I would almost say very basic you know they got the banjo they had a um some vocalist and they had um you know acoustic guitar that was it no drums no nothing i mean they sang well and it's just different sometimes well anyways thought i'd um show a neat little trick here this is another thing that i found that uh I, I just I just get a kick out of okay, so you all know that Apple has this feature for hearing impaired and or people who can't see, and then you have this thing called text to speech. I'll bring it up up here, right here. It's pretty cool. Uh because what you could do is is you can record it into your log logic session using uh Soundflower. You just Google Soundflower and you should find it. So I'll show you what I have here. You just go to your, your sound here and I have the 64 channel because I, I'm routing different channels all throughout the place while I do this recording. So I like to have multiple options open, but you can choose e either one. It doesn't matter. And so you, you have your output there. Let's go back to text to speech and then we'll go to, yeah, check on this one speech. I'm using lion. And then on your logic, uh, you know, preferences, audio, and then it comes up. You can just make sure your input is a Soundflower. So what, what it's going to do is, is it, it's, you know, I'll bring it over here. What it's going to do is, is it's going to route. It's, you know, once you get the concept of how Soundflower works, it, it's pretty easy. See, output from Soundflower, from your sound card. So it goes into this netherland of Soundflower land, whatever it is, and it kind of just stays in there. And then, then you have input Soundflower, doo, 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 right there, see? So then what you do, just open up like a regular, regular audio channel, pick audio, and your input. I'm so tired, oh, man. Whoa. Man, that's contagious, man. Stop yawning. <laughs> that's contagious. All right. Pick your input. I think I have, I'm using, or is it one? Two, I can't remember. Hold on. Well, anyways, I already have something that's going on here. I don't really want to mess it up, but you, you, you pick the, the main input. I think it's like the first, first one. And you just, you know, record in Ableton. You record it. I have Ableton. This is what I use to record my voice. I don't like it interfering with my, um, my mix. So I record it separately. ScreenFlow uh, does not allow you to separate channels. It only only has like one input in and that's it, which kind of sucks. So anyways, that's why I use Ableton to do the, I use a separate program to do my recording. So I have one here, a uh, left and a right. And oh yeah, another thing um, ScreenFlow doesn't allow you to do is do panning either. You know, they're so you know, they have a great screencast, but they sure do suck when it comes to audio support. So, you know, there's always ways around it. Hack the system, dude. Yeah. All right. I'm really tired today, so I'm, I'm kind of off. Sorry, guys. You can either do an audio channel in Logic with Soundflower, or you can use uh, what I'm doing, this setup, since I'm doing recording. So we'll go back to 
show all. I'm going to go back to speech here. So check this out. Watch this. We'll do, uh, we'll do the first one. Do Agnes. Just hit play. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? <laughs> That's just awesome. You know, it's, just a, it's like a Texas speech kind of speaking spell. It reminds me of that, you know, 1980s. Yeah, you can tell how old I am. <laughs> I am a child of the 80s. That's right. Okay. Um, all right, so we, we're, we'll go to, let's go to this one. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Oh, yes. It's very nice. <laughs> so then, you know, we go. When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. Yes, that's right. See, all these, you know, someone's got a sense of humor. And the cool thing is you can play it slow, fast. Let's go see. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Yes, of course. And then we got Victoria. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Very nice. And then uh, who do else? Who else do we have here? We got um, we got the male guys. Most people recognize me by my voice. Of course. All right. You know, let's try Bruce. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm just having so much fun with this right now. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. So, you you kind of see my point here as far as you might recognize where I'm going to go with this. See, this is a great way to sample sounds. Uh, and, and the cool thing is you could sample your own sound. So, let me move this off to the side. And so, let's go. La. La. Blah, 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 blah. Now watch this. Feet. I think if you just right click, highlight it, and then, or I think it just. No, you gotta highlight it, and then right click, and then I think there's speech. Start speaking. Blah blah blah. <laughs> so you can write your own words in there, and it it would pretty much speak what you want it to speak. Um, you're going to say, hey, you guys, let's see if that, I wonder if explanation points actually work in this, doubt it though. So right click speech. Hey, you guys. <laughs> so the other thing is, is we can do, they got these little novelty things, like we could try deranged. See what that sounds like. I need to go on a really long vacation. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, hysterical. Please stop it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just this, this is something else. But my favorite is this one, Zarvox. This is something else. That looks like a peaceful planet. Yes. That looks like a peaceful planet. Of course. They got Whisper. That one's kind of cool, too. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Who do you think I'm talking to? The mouse. This is, this is nice. I mean, and, and the cool thing is you can, br you can um, bring these things into any DIW with Soundflower and, and just have fun with this and, and hack them up. So, <clears throat> yeah. Let's play this one. Do not pull the wool over my eyes. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> the light you see at the end of the tunnel <laughs> is the headlamp <laughs> of a fast approaching train. <laughs> Sounds like Lurch from the Adams family. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. That <laughs> brings back memories. <laughs> so. Yeah, what I did is I recre I created a, some text. Let's move this out of the way. And I have this here. Here's the first one that I, I created in, and uh, recorded in. You can see I, I cut it up too. Let's go ahead and expand that out so you can see it. No, I didn't cut it up. Well, I did something here. I just kind of just cut it up and made it stutter a little bit. So you can fit the first one here is this one. And then you can see that I have it going to some buses. I have it EQ'd. 
You got just simple, you know, rolling up the low and the high on the EQ. That's it. Plus one is uh, a reverb. It's a EOS. They make a really good reverb. Phaser, Logic's Phaser. Um, Nervous Radio is a setting. So I'm just kind of just... And then we've got a ring shifter on the other one. And it's just a simple... I think it's just user default, really. Do I have any automation going on on it? No, no automation. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and just, just see what this is. This is the Whisper one. So, let's... Oh, yeah. And so what I'm saying here is I'm saying uh, faded... Sh I typed in faded shadows, music infused with technology. That is uh, my, um, my alter ego. So um, I do a lot of music and... And mixing and faded shadows is my band name. All right, so here it goes. Faded shadows, music infused with t -t -t technology. That's pretty cool with the reverb and the phaser going on. I, I you know, I, I really like that. So, and then, and then we have this other one, which is um, Zarvox or the. All right, let's play this one. Faded shadows, music infused with technology. So yeah, um, and then and then what I did is I just end up putting them both together, like that. Uh, I think I have the volume down a little lower on that one and volume higher on that one. So when you put them together, it kind of sounds pretty nifty. Pretty Faded dope. shadows, music infused with technology. Pretty dope. So I need to stop saying nifty because that's like so 1950s. Um, yeah, I pick up things. Uh, I'm not that old. I wasn't born then. So, so that's that. You know, this is a cool little trick uh, you can use in pretty much any DAW. You can see that I I, I brought it in uh, Ableton and uh, or Logic Pro. It doesn't matter. It's like you know, and the key thing is 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 uh you know just using the your 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 text you know we can go you know logic pro hacks um music infused with no 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 wrong one um out of the box music design there we go. So we could say that and then just highlight it, right click, just do speech. Logic Pro Hacks, out of the box, music <laughs> design. Yeah, so then, then you know, we could do cello, so let's try that. Oops, control Z, right click. Logic Pro Hacks, out of the box music design. That's nice. All right, so there you go. We can do one more. Why not? Try that one. Pipe organs, let's try that one. Logic Pro Hacks. <laughs> Out of the box music design. That's nice. So, yeah. So we got... Let's do this one one more time. I'm just having so much fun with this. Logic Pro Hacks! Out of the box music design! This is just awesome. <laughs> Trinoids. See who that is. Uh, right click and then Logic Pro Hacks out of the box music design. I, I didn't like that one. That one. Logic Pro Hacks out of the box music design. Okay, It'll be a quick video, so I just thought I'd uh, show you this one. Have fun with this. Cheers. Logic Pro Hacks, out of the box music design. <laughs>